Moto offers a variety of different materials you can work with in the shader tree. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the fur material, which is a personal favorite. To add a fur material, simply click the add layer button and choose special fur material. I've added it to the body material group, which restricts the fur material to that specific group. The fur material places fibers on the surface of the mesh, which can be groomed using a variety of attributes. The spacing attribute enables you to define the space between individual fibers. Lowering the value will increase the number of fibers and produce denser patches of fur. The length attribute controls the overall length of each fiber from its root to its tip. Increasing the max segments attribute will smooth the fibers and produce better results when working with hair that curls or bends. The clumping attributes are a great way to groom the hair into small groups. Increasing the clumping will pull the tips of the fibers close together. Lowering the clumping range will produce smaller clusters of clumps. Several of the attributes can be further refined using a gradient. I'll use the clump gradient to have the root of the fiber spread out, but have the tips come together. The root bend attribute determines the direction of the fibers. Increasing the setting to 50% will make the fibers grow partially perpendicular to the normal of the surface. The fur takes on the color of the material in the material group, so if I duplicate the fur material layer and use it in another material group, the fibers for that group will take on the group's color. This is a great way to start with some initial values that are better than the default settings of the fur material. The fur material can be used to generate hair, grass, carpet, leaves, and much more. Spend some time exploring the additional attributes to produce an endless variety of results.